Start your day with a smile and positive thought. Keep spreading positivity, positivity wherever you go. Good morning, everyone present here. We welcome you all to this session. A day without prayer is a day without blessing, and a life without prayer is a life without power. Now let us have prayer song. <laughs> Better than a thousand days of diligent study is one day with great teacher. I would like to welcome the head of the department, Dr. K. K. A. Alagappan sir, to present the welcome address. Good morning, Good morning to all of you. Happy to meet you on this 10th December 2020 at 11 a.m. through Zoom and YouTube Live. On behalf of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship, with computer applications and professional accounting. of Konga Arts and Science College he wrote i am glad to welcome you all to the guest lecture on intellectual property power house for innovation and creativity we welcome our correspondent tri k padani chami sir who always supports us in all our accomplishments we are happy to welcome you sir we welcome our principal dr n raman sir who encourages guides and directs us to excel in all our activities we are delighted to welcome you sir we welcome our chief guest dr t parimel alagan professor in botany and director iprsl bharatiya university coimbatore one among the strength of our chief guest is that he got three patent rights we are elated to welcome you sir we are cheerful in welcoming various department heads and faculty members welcome you all i also extend a warm welcome to my department faculty members and my dear dynamic students welcome you all with this once again i welcome you all and conclude my welcome address thank you thank you sir leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality i would like to welcome our honorable correspondent of our college tiruke palani swami sir to give the presidential address very good morning to all the participants of this department of corporate leadership with ca and professional accounting program in this pleasant morning i welcome our today's program chief guest 
டாக்டர் டி பர்மீலகன் ஃப்ரம் பாரதியார் யூனிவர்சிட்டி ப்ரொஃபஸர் இன் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் பாட்டனி அண்ட் டைரக்டர் ஐபிஆர் செல் டு கொங்கு ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் காலேஜ் ஐ கன்கிராச்சுலேட் டாக்டர் அழகப்பன் சார் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஹெட் குரு சந்தோஷினி மேம் சாந்தாமணி மேம் ஃபார் ஆர்கனைசிங் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இன் திஸ் சிஏஎன்பிஏ அக்கௌண்டிங் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஐ தேங்க் ஆல் தி கோஆர்டினேட்ஸ் லெக்சர்ஸ் ப்ரொஃபஸர்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஃபார் மேக்கிங் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இன் அவர் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன் ஐ தேங்க் அவர் பிரின்சிபல் சார் ஃபார் மோட்டிவேட்டிங் this department corporateship for this program i will i once again welcome our today's chief guest for this intellectual property program on powerhouse for innovation and creativity to become a grand success program for this i welcome all the other faculty members students and various department heads for this program thank you thank you sir a great principal builds character inspires dreams encourages creativity builds confidence instills a lot of learning i would like to welcome our most respected principal dr n raman sir to present the felicitation speech good morning to all all present here i feel happy to extend a cordial welcome to our correspondent sir and today's chief guest and all other participants at our department for this one day webinar on intellectual property rights 10 years back i hope that there was no kind of need to know about the intellectual property and its salient features and it is for the individual as well as for the institution now it is a mandatory both for the institution and individuals how to protect their property rights and in the students learning stage itself they should be aware of it and almost all the higher learning institutions are taking efforts to create an awareness about intellectual property rights among the students right from the undergraduate So once they are reaching to that day as a researcher or as a become an approacher or as entered into any of the entrepreneur or something like that, how to protect their the and how to get the registration for their property rights, etc. So I hope that with this intention only, Professor Alhappan has arranged in this kind of that we have been a serious. I thank and as well as the Agarajalit Professor Alhappan for organizing such kind of the events and on uh, um, 1st of october i think um, we had a discussion with our uh, today's chief guest as an academic auditor and we shared our opinions and as well as our thoughts and other things how we are the institution is progressing in the various academic activities and he has encouraged to organize such kind of the events so with this is uh, the motivational words this kind of the seminar is organized the webinar is organized so i thank the our chief guest for accepting our invitation also and i want to congratulate all the, the faculty members and the students who are all connected with this event i wish the function as a grand success thank you for the opportunities given to me thank you thank you sir a teacher is a compass that activates that magnet of curiosity knowledge and wisdom i would like to welcome assistant professor of our department ms n santamani ma'am to give the introduction note of the chief guest good morning to one and all i feel very happy to introduce dr t parimelalagar professor in department of botany bharatiya university coimbatore he has worked as a scientist in defense research and a development organization ministry of defense government of india he has 20 years of research and 13 years of teaching experience 
in addition to that he is a director ipr cell special officer planning and development cell deputy coordinator and rosa he has done his post doctoral research at usa added to the credit he had authored quite a few books in his field of specialization he has filed four patents and three granted he has more than 103 research publications in international and national peer reviewed journals under his supervision 13 scholars were awarded phd degree he has he is operating many projects funded by dpt dst ugc and drdo worth of more than crore he has visited many countries in connection with academic activities thank you thank you ma'am almost every successful person begins with two beliefs the future can be better than the present and i have the power to make it so we would like to welcome our esteemed chief guest dr t parimel aragan sir to present his exhilarating speech yeah so good morning everybody first of all i would like to thank the organizer uh, professor alagpan sir and then the principal of this uh, kongu arts and science college uh, and uh, the secretary of the college so really it is uh, good to uh, have this uh, lecture today uh, also i am greatly honored and pleased to connect you all to this um, webinar session on uh, this particular topic that is uh, intellectual property rights and also uh, it is a great pleasure to interact with you also uh, for the young, uh, students and then the faculty members uh, i hope that uh, you will go back to the at the end of this webinar uh, intellectually enriched and culturally uh, stimulated uh, so from this uh, webinar session uh, as you know that uh, uh, this topic is uh, when i visited uh, your uh, college uh um, so i was interacting with uh, your uh, faculty members and other officials so they were very much interested to know about this uh, ip and they are having some lot of uh, some innovative ideas uh, with them so so that time itself i told that if time permits we can have uh, some uh, like uh, like this uh, uh, discussions like on this ipr topic so the principal also agreed to have this uh, to have this uh, webinar on this particular topic okay and uh, um, really it is a um, you know that everybody knows what is intellectual property rights in the patents copyright and all okay and in india like the over a million always encouraged uh, the creativity and the innovation uh, with its own system of uh, the fostering the creativity okay and also the enlightened uh, rulers of ancient and uh, the medieval india took uh, intellectuals in various uh, fields uh, into their courts and uh, gave them royal protection and encouragement also okay it is not a new thing right and no wonder that uh, india was uh, quick to grasp the modern concept of uh, the intellectual property rights as the concept emerged uh, towards the end of the 19th century and also the concept of copyright was introduced in india as long as uh, in 1847 and when the first indian copyright was uh, copyright act was enacted okay and subsequently like in the 1914 uh, the british uh, copyright of uh, 911 was made applicable to the india and also around the same time you no know, like in the patent act and the design act are also enacted so these are the like uh, the history uh, related to this uh, ipr okay and when you are seeing the technological uh, innovations and the post uh, new challenge to the uh, enforcement of this intellectual property rights and to ensure the protection we have been uh, amending our ipr acts uh, periodically to make them modern and up to date okay and uh, however the ip the intellectual property uh, legal system uh, in places like uh, the society at large uh, will benefit only if the awareness uh, about its importance is known to all otherwise there is no use okay 
So in that case, we have to create an awareness about this uh, and the IP, right? Okay, and also uh, the understanding of the importance of intellectual property protection uh, uh, generates respect to this and the intellectual property law uh, that which forces uh, the voluntary compliance. Okay, a pre uh, requirement for this effective enforcement of uh, this IP in the field of uh, involving uh, daily applications to everyone's life also, right? Okay. And now we'll come to that, uh, the lecture. So can I share my slide? Yes, sir. Uh, whether it is visible? Yes, sir, it is visible. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, so that is why I selected this topic like uh, intellectual property, the powerhouse for innovation and creativity. And you know that um, uh, the intellectual property has increasingly uh, assumed a vital role with the rapid phase of uh, the technological, uh, scientific and uh, medicinal innovations that we are witnessing today. Okay. And moreover, the changes in the global economic environment have influenced uh, the development of business uh, models where intellectual property is a, a central element establishing uh, the value and the potential growth. Okay, and in India, uh, new legislations for this uh, protection of intellectual property rights uh, have been passed to meet the international obligations under the World Trade Organization Agreement. Right uh, to trade uh, like uh, that trips. I think you people know very well the trade related aspects of intellectual property rights. And um, the intellectual property uh, has uh, therefore grown into the, one of the world's biggest and uh, fastest uh, uh, the fields of uh, law, thereby uh, necessitating the demand for this intellectual property professionals are well versed uh, in this area to deal with uh, the IPRs, okay, across the national and the international borders also, all right. And uh, So when you are uh, talking about this, uh, um, the intellectual property rights. So first of all, we should know that in such a way that I have organized my the lecture. So the introduction about the IPS, what are the uh, aspects involved with the IPS and the issues and what is the importance and how we can proceed with the, these things and uh, what are the various uh, uh, aspects involved with the IPS, like IPR means not only patent. So there are so many things like, uh, uh, the copyright, design, trademark, trade secret, and uh, geographical indications, everything. Okay. So, one by one, we can just see. And uh, when we are talking about this, uh, the IP, so IP is nothing but it is a legal instrument awarded to the inventors uh, that to protect their ownership rights, thereby the preventing frivolous gain by uh, others. Okay. And also, it is a legally created monopoly rights over uh, intellectual creations in all the fields like industrial, scientific, literary, and artistic fields, okay? And um, the intellectual property, that is IP, uh, is a term referring to the creation of the intellect, okay? So uh, the term used in the state and the intellect is nothing but the studies of uh, the human mind, okay? For which the monopoly is assigned to the designated owners by law, okay? So the property, the property designates uh, those things that are commonly recognized as being the possession of an individual or a group. So that we will call it as property that you know very well. So here, the properties is two types, right? The properties are of two types. That is a tangible property and intangible property. So one that is uh, physically present, okay? That is, we will call it as the tangible. And the other, which is not in the, like any... Uh, the physical form that we'll call it as a, the intangible property. Okay. So the example you can see like in the building, land, house, uh, cash or jewelry or um, these are the few samples for this uh, examples for uh, these tangible properties. Okay. So which can be seen and felt physically, right? And other hand, there is a kind of valuable uh, property that cannot be felt physically, okay? As it does not have any uh, physical form also, 
okay so intellectual property is one of them uh, one of the forms of intangible property okay so all our ip is comes under this uh, intangible property which commands a, a material value okay which can also be higher than the value of uh, the tangible uh, assets or the property okay so now you understood that what is uh, ip and what is that the property okay intellectual what is intellectual and what is property so now you are very clear right okay and uh, so this is the uh, like uh, the introductory part and the government of india now they have um, initiated this uh, the national ipr policy and there um, they have given a lot of emphasis on this creativity and innovation okay so the national intellectual property rights policy of india uh, is set to an establish an ecosystem in the country uh, conducive to innovation and creativity okay so not only in the terms of ip awareness but also the commercialization and the enforcement also okay so uh, a strong intellectual property rights structure you know like uh, will play a big role in uh, attracting the investment into the india along with boosting the and the local business and ecosystem also right so the policy with its slogan no like i think you might have heard this slogan like creative india and innovative india okay so now the government of india is giving lot of emphasis on this particular slogan creative india and innovative india it aims uh, the slogan okay the it aims to spread awareness to the maximum people uh, possible so that their uh, knowledge and creativity and innovation uh, does not go to waste okay so that is why the vision is saying that an india where creativity and innovation are stimulated by the intellectual property for the benefit of all and india where intellectual property uh, uh, this uh, the intellectual property uh, promotes advancement in science and technology arts and culture traditional knowledge biodiversity resources also so in india where the knowledge is the driver of development okay and knowledge won't is transformed into knowledge shared also okay so that is very important so here the separate uh, department of the government of india that is a dapp uh, department of industrial and promotion and policy that is comes under this uh, ministry of commerce has been made the nodal uh, point to coordinate and guide and oversee the implementation and uh, future development of ips in india right and um, here uh, like uh, so what are the the objectives the main objectives uh, the national ipr policy of india no like uh, there are uh, seven objectives okay so the first one is the creating awareness right i uh, like the outreach and the uh, promotion to create public awareness about the economic social cultural benefits of iprs among all the sectors of society right and um, uh, the generation of iprs is to stimulate the generation of iprs through this innovation okay so i told you that the creativity innovation is important uh, in this ip okay so uh, the generation of iprs will come through this innovative ideas okay so so the second uh, objective is innovation the third one is balanced structure of legal framework okay so to have a strong and the effective ipr laws okay which balance the interest of rights uh, owners with the larger public uh, interest also okay so and the next one is uh, administration and management okay to modernize and strengthen the uh, service oriented ip administration so for that we should have a, a good administrative and management structure okay then the commercialization of ips that is very very important because you can file the patent and uh, whatever thing okay uh, in the ip form but to get a value for this iprs so only possible when you are commercializing so if you are not doing commercialization there is no value for your intellectual property rights right so that is why right. that is also one of the objective and another one is the enforcement and adjudication okay to strengthen the enforcement and the adjudicatory mechanism for combating this ip uh, uh, ipr infringements okay so there are many infringements will happen in this field okay so copying others and uh, taking uh, some uh, part of uh, their ideas so these are the things some infringements and also and the industrial uh, profession 
authorities also through the through this enforcement and education right and the final one is the human capital development okay so here this is very important because with the humans only we can uh, do creations and innovation to strengthen uh, and expand the human resources and the institutions and the capacities for uh, teaching training and research and skill building you no know? like everything we can go through this human capital development but that in the human capital development should be a, a strong base okay so that should be there okay and uh, yeah that is thing and the economy so now you can see like uh, uh, also this is the innovation you know like the innovation is the process when i when i was talking about this innovation and creativity you should know that clearly the uh, the meaning of that what is innovation uh, so innovation is the process of turning a, a commercial success or widespread use okay right. so we call it as innovation so the question will come what is invention the invention is the a creation of a new idea or concept okay so that we call it as invention and creativity is the act of uh, uh, turning new and imaginative ideas into a reality that we call it as a creative right so innovation here uh, in the successful exploitation of new ideas in the form of a, a useful uh, maybe like the machinery or a process uh, or by any person uh, using a own intellect is called as innovation okay so here the every innovation you know like uh, uh, every innovation every innovation may not be a patentable but uh, uh, every invention is an uh, innovation right so all the inventions are the innovations um, are and are patentable right all the innovations are the inno uh, all the inventions are the innovations are the patentable okay but all the innovations are not the patentable inventions okay so um, and also you no know, like uh, the countries uh, uh, take any country okay and the country's innovation play a major role in determining the economy and the growth okay so you can see here the world economy you no know, like uh, there some uh, 100 years before so mainly based on this agriculture economy right here the land and labor is involved and then slowly shifted to the industrial uh, revolution that is industrial economy here the capital machine, uh, machinery the management is involved then now the current scenario the knowledge economy is the yeah, it plays a big role for the economic growth of a nation okay so the knowledge economy now the globalized world is occupied by this knowledge economy okay so there the innovations the creating ip and protecting ip is everything involved okay suppose uh, like um, the anyone uh, who invest uh, in uh, invent or creates something uh, gets the exclusive right to benefit from their in invention okay for instance like suppose a musician or an author can seek uh, copyrights for their uh, creations okay and the stopping why they need because the uh, to stop others from using their musical notes or books or monetary benefits okay for that the protecting ip is very very important and in earlier days you no know, like uh, the patenting was not much case okay and but now the scene was totally changed considerably one had to think to have a patent for their uh, survival uh, because of uh, uh, liberalization as well as the privatization concept right and uh, the invention uh, will not be fine if it is in your mind okay so you can exploit your invention commercially um, only if you patent it so that means whatever the ideas are if you have some creative or innovative uh, the ideas so immediately you have to file the patent so that's what so whatever the new inventions if you have if you are keep it in your mind there is no use so once if you are uh, exploit that invention commercially and you only if you can patent it if you are patent it then only you can go for the commercialization and you will get a, the monopoly rights as well as the monetary revenues also you can generate a lot of revenues you can generate right okay and uh, uh, also like uh, when we are talking about uh, the creative you no know, like in the creativity 
the creativity is the thinking of new things and innovation is doing the new thing so rightly uh, said by this lady okay and here we should know that uh, innovation and the creativity have uh, become uh, critical skills for achieving a uh, success in developed economies um, the need of uh, creative problems uh, solving has uh, arisen as in uh, when uh, the more management problems require creative insights in order to find a, a suitable uh, solutions also and uh, creativity goes hand in hand with the uh, innovations okay and uh, as there is no uh, innovation uh, without a creativity also right and while uh, the creativity is the ability to produce a new and uh, the unique ideas uh, innovation uh, is the implementation of the creativity okay so here the creativity and the innovation is uh, almost uh, it goes hand in hand right and the creativity uh, we can say it is a driving force uh, Uh, behind the innovation and uh, incorporation of uh, the looking at the things from a, a different perspective also okay so that is there right and uh, so the creativity and the innovation is very important uh, here you can see like uh, whatever you have uh, the new things the inventions you know so generally people use uh, so whenever you have some new ideas when you are sharing with others your friends or colleagues so immediately they will not uh, like encourage you. so always they will say that no 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 this is not a, a good thing or this is a, a useless idea or it will not work it out this kind of discourage we will get okay so it happened uh, not only now and even uh, so many years before also uh, the telephone uh, has too many shortcomings to be when the uh, the like um, the um, what is that the alexander graham bell he invented this uh, telephone okay so that was patented on march अलेक्सा ग्रहम बिल इनवेटेड दिस टेलीफोन सो द पीपल यूज टू से दैट दिस टेलीफोन हेज टू मेनी शॉर्ट कमिंग्स टू बी सीरियसली कंसिडर एज मीन ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन ओके सो दिस डिवाइस इज इनली ऑफ नो वैल्यू टू अस set by the western union internal bank 1876 right but now you see this without a telephone without phone we cannot do anything okay and uh, an amazing invention but who would ever want to use one this also said by the uh, spoken by ruther ford uh, the president of the united states okay after making a telephone call from uh, washington dc to pennsylvania okay and this is the things like uh, with the, the inventor that with uh, alexander graham bell but uh, in the telephone uh, that invention patented in 1876 right so these are the things like uh, uh, even the computer came into the market you know like i think there is a world market for maybe uh, five computers so when the first computer came in the market it said by the thomas watson ibm chairman in 1943 but now you see without computer there is no life right so this is the thing like um, the you know whenever we have uh, the creative ideas or innovations no like uh, people should encourage then only uh, the innovative ideas the creativity will uh, come up uh, even among our students and faculty also so we should have always the encouragement okay and uh, you see the harry potter uh, she uh, this is the author of that harry potter jk rowling uh, finished her manuscript for uh, harry potter and the philosopher's stone the book was submitted to 12 publishing houses okay all of which rejected the manuscript okay so totally they have rejected but now you see that without uh, the harry potter this uh, all the children the youngsters they are reading this harry potter it's a very popularized right okay and uh, so when we are talking about this innovative ideas you know like um, uh, over the last uh, decades Uh, the innovation and the creativity have become uh, critical skills also okay and uh, also um, i already told you that uh, the creativity is the driving force uh, behind the innovation and the uh, incorporation of uh, looking the things okay and uh, we should always encourage the employees or the students and uh, the staff to think outside the box okay and giving them uh, a time and the resources to explore uh, new areas of a new areas for innovative the ideas okay and that is the key factor 
there is a, the creativity improves uh, the process of solving problem also already we discussed and you see this uh, like some examples for this innovations okay and here you can see that uh, the butter stick okay so so generally how we will spread that butter in the bread so now you see this uh, uh, the you know in the invention like the butter stick like you can easily you can spread it okay so that is the one innovative ideas and uh, you see the youngest patent holder on wheelchair this uh, this uh, drawing uh, inspiration from uh, scientist uh, stephen hawking a wheelchair bound a 9 year old boy here has invented the game of uh, six player circular chess okay and the boy this hideshwar singh party uh, has got the games uh, design patented in his name okay so the innovative ideas and creativity will come from any side okay okay and this is that the paper clips uh, was invented uh, in the year um, in 1900 and you see that uh, it is a, looks like very simple but it is a very powerful one okay so the paper clip help to solve the age old problem uh, isn't it like the how do i keep papers together uh, without ruining them or poking holes in them okay so previously people used to do all these things but now we can keep the papers without making the hole okay so that easily we can together the we can keep the papers together right and um, so there are after that 400 paper clip patents have come up okay so just a minute okay and another uh, kind of inventions it is the pen uh, with the centered with uh, this one like uh, the pen has the uh, grip incorporated into the pen barrel the barrel with the scent coating is full as a promotional device so it will give when you are just uh, removing the cap and we are starting writing uh, then uh, the pen is having a, like a, it will give some uh, coffee aroma okay so that for that uh, so they have it is a promotional device okay so everybody will like it this one and uh, generally they will uh, uh, this uh, this is a promotional device okay so this also got patented and you can see here this is a, uh, a lipstick having a lot of uh, this uh, here also the innovative ideas we can say like the lot of um, and the nutritional aspects as well as uh, some uh, nutraceuticals okay so they have added into that uh, lipstick and um, it solves lot of problem for the pregnancy women okay so like uh, undernourished or uh, uh, anemic patients you know so these kind of things like they will get a iron content and other vitamin uh, um the uh, vitamin 12 and other b complexes so everything she added into that lipstick and whenever we are just uh, applying this lipstick and the lips so generally the they will just uh, uh, doing this the, the lips no like uh, they will uh, with their saliva it will go inside okay so when you in a day if they are doing a uh, um 10 times no like uh, definitely the ingredients will go inside and thereby they are getting a Uh, avoid of like uh, this uh, nutritional and uh, all the things ingredients will go their uh, body system okay so for that innovations they have got uh, this lady uh, dr raina gonki gets a gs trend setter award for her innovation right so i am just giving for like some of the examples for this innovative uh, things okay and you can you are seeing this uh, the cubes i think you know what is that name of that cubes okay so whether it is it a patentable one or was it patentable can it be protected with a trademark or is there any copyright issues with this and a trade secret is there so if you are asking people will say no but you see here everything is involved here okay so this rubik cube was invented in 1974 and they got a us patent for this one okay in 1983 and the patent expired in 2000 okay and also holds the registered trademarks for the word ruby okay and for the 2d 3d visualization of the puzzle okay so now we got we are getting into the 20 rupees or 25 30 rupees okay but because the patent got expired so everybody is now they are manufacturing this one okay so this is one of the uh, uh, these things okay and another you can see here that is the the michael jackson uh this is like how he can do this kind of dance because others cannot do okay so what is the secret of this so here he himself he developed this uh, the shoes 
okay so he developed the shoes and he designed the shoes himself and for that the patent was granted the us patent was granted right so for that uh, he got a patent and uh, because of that uh, design of that shoe only he could dance like that okay so so these are the some of the examples for this thing okay so the field of invention no like uh, invention in, can take place in any field i showed you some of the examples also now you see like uh, uh, even from this like uh, invention the safety pin to satellite invention can occur from safety pin to satellite okay so from the electronics electrical communications biotechnology these medicinal plant sector and mechanical engineering for the, all the places okay so for that we don't have any like uh, the degree and all msc or phd degree then only we will get uh, some creative ideas or no 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 it is not like that okay it will come from any side anybody the creative ideas for that education is not at all needed okay so why i am telling uh, because creations and uh, this uh, innovative ideas will come from our mind okay for that uh, it is very very important and also the effective ipr uh, you know like and the increases uh, uh, for research and development and other innovations also like uh, the uh, including by helping uh, firms realize uh, more value from the innovations that are protected by this ip okay and um, even no like uh, this intellectual property rights underpins the uh, development of uh, cultural expression and diversity and uh, promotes a broader dissemination of innovations uh, through publication and licensing right okay so now we'll come to that uh, what is ipr okay in that uh, it's a uh, like we can say um, ipr a peak insight right so here if you are seeing this uh, triangle base you no know, like uh, the human capital i told you this human capital is very very important isn't it so uh, and also the ipr is an essential compound uh, for the development of the country okay so the human capital is very very important because the experience skills and creativity innovative ideas will come only from the human minds okay so for that we should have uh, the human capital should is very very important okay so through this experience and skills and creations you know so we used to uh, have that intellectual assets like when we are doing something like uh, we should have some documents or drawings the data the process and know how all these things will come okay so through experience and skills okay so that we will call it as a intellectual assets right so with this once if you have this intellectual assets then we can go for the ip protecting the ipr okay so through patent or design or copyright or trademark or trade secret okay so when you are approaching the patent office they will just give these things uh, you can apply and also they are giving the legal rights to you and the criteria for grant is there for each patent design copyright trademark all the things no so separate uh, criteria for grant is there and the territorial rights also first you can file in the indian patent then after that you can go for uh, in the um, Uh, other countries you no know, national level national phase okay like us patent or uh, europe patent so these kind of things and each uh, types of ip you no know, like uh, the fixed term also is there okay so 20 years 10 years then after that the renewal system also will come so uh, the ip uh, confers exclusive rights to uh, the creators and the inventors who contribute to the betterment of uh, the society okay and also the ip system not only boost the collective knowledge of the society but also escalate their uh, dissemination right and um, okay so why i should so the question will come to you like why i should obtain the patent what is the need okay so once if you are going for this kind of uh, things the ip protection so you can disseminate the research to the society's benefit and level the playing field and stimulate market also and uh, increase the value of an institution this is very important for us as a academic uh, um, uh, institution and as a teachers the faculty members so they increase the value of an institution okay and you know very well that the government of india has taken uh, concrete steps to establish a favorable uh, environment for creation and uh, protection of uh, this ip Uh, and uh, also the same thing uh, same time they have strengthened the ip administration also uh, uh, the national ip policy i told you in the 2016 they have established right 
and after that they have made a lot of prog programs like made in india make in india these programs and all you know okay and this make uh, make in india uh, initiative was launched in uh, in the year uh, i think 2014 uh, 2014 they have launched uh, the september month and uh, they have also the action plans and uh, combined with uh, so many sectors they have uh, formed and uh, they have uh, they have a uh, common uh, objectives uh, to facilitate the investment and fostering the innovation uh, these kind of things okay and uh, uh, through that make in india program we have achieved a lot in um, government of india and also and once if you are protecting our ips uh, like in the academic sector no like in the universities and the public research institution are among the direct uh, contributors uh, towards the innovation and the research uh, particularly in uh, emerging economies okay and the potential uh, pool talent for innovation in this uh, economies also emanates largely from uh, educational institutions and the research institution also okay and um, uh, this could be uh, created to the national ipr policy right and uh, the primary uh, focus of this uh, ip policy uh, is towards the promoting innovation and creativity okay even uh, in um, the ugc the university grant commission the nodal uh, authority for the determining and uh, maintaining of uh, standards of university uh, education in india uh, they issued a letter and for inclusion of this uh, intellectual property rights as a generic uh, elective subject under this uh, continuous uh, the choice based accredited system that is a cbcs okay and we have also uh, sent a circular to all the colleges that uh, all the the ug and the pg uh, stream uh, should have this ip slab uh, curriculum in your curriculum the ip topic should be included in that okay so in addition uh, the national institutional ranking framework that you know very well that recently uh, they started, um, I think in 2016 or 2018, they have started this NIR. Uh, it is a ranking system adopted by the Ministry of Human Resource uh, Development, uh, that is MHRD, ranks institution of higher education in India. Okay, So these rankings uh, act as a mechanism for the institutions to include or uh, promote uh, innovation, research and development while assessing their uh, performance beyond the academics. Okay. So they are asking like how many patents you have filed, how many copyrights you have uh, from your college or your university so on. Okay. So these are the, one of the parameters uh, considered while ranking and uh, uh, which is significant to our discussion in uh, discussion is research and uh, professional practice. So that include the IPR and uh, patents also. Okay. And uh, so uh, these are the like, yeah, this is that uh, because for that only we are going for this the IP protection, okay? The generate revenue for the institution also. Thereby you can generate revenues because you will get a royalty and a licensing fee and all. And generate revenue for the inventor also, okay? The inventor also will get the monetary benefits, right? Okay, so these are the advantages of patenting also. Once if you are going for a patent, so you can avoid the duplication of research, right? and uh, they keep addressed with the latest development in the different fields of technology. And also it helps industry to improve existing technology to produce a cheaper and a better uh, product also. And uh, it serves as an indicator of achievements in R&D institutions and the ability of uh, individual researcher. Okay, once if you are practicing the IP in your uh, uh, sector, academic or industry, any sector, okay, so it will come, right? And, uh, right. If you, uh, now you, the question will come. Okay, sir, now I have an invention. So what I have to do? Okay, so if you have invention, you have to do only two things. That is the only two options. Only you can just publish it or you can go to approach the patent office, you can file that patent. This is the two options you have, right? So why we have to do? Why we have to do uh, like a publish the publishing newspapers, media, journals, magazines, and websites? So you will get a publicity if the published dimension is interesting. Okay, so for that you have to publish. Then only the other people come to know that what is that uh, the innovative idea or the invention. Okay, so if you file the patent application after publishing, you will not get a patent right. Also for that, what you have to do? First, you file the patent in the patent office. Then simultaneously you can publish your paper. So file the patent, after that you can publish the paper, 
research paper or whatever in your ideas okay so because the novelty of the invention is lasts through yeah so the next one is the patenting okay so you can first file the patent application in patent office and you can publish your invention after filing the patent application the patent office will also uh, publish your invention in the journal okay so first you mm, file the patent and in patent office also they are having the journal and uh, they will publish it uh, when you are um, submitting the forms right okay so now we'll come to that what is the importance of uh, this um, the ip okay so when you are practicing this ip in your uh, college or in your university uh, the ip so intellectual property rights so what are the uh, importance for academic sector especially okay and uh, here uh, suppose if you have an, a small uh, research fund okay in your college or university so through that you can develop a lot of technologies right so that technology will come uh, we have to ship uh, transfer to the industry the industry they will uh, uh, commercialize the product and they will do the all the marketing so through that the new products will come and ultimately the products will come to the society right and the society they will get a benefit and after that through that we will also get some monetary benefit like uh, the um, come uh, the royalty and uh, this licensing fee and all so that many again you can use it for our r and d purpose so that is why the ip cell we have to start in our uh, academic institutions thereby we can generate our own uh, research fund or, and other uh, the revenues also we can generate okay so that is why we have to give lot of um, uh, attention to this uh, ip area right okay so how can you protect your intellectual property right so that is very important right so how can you protect your intellectual right so i told you like um, this um, we can uh, go for Uh, like patent design trademark trade secret and all okay and also uh, you know that uh, and also how it will be like uh, uh, in the higher education institutions or uh, the colleges and universities how it is very important so in the emerging scenario you know that the range of students uh, that would benefit from the intellectual property education is very wide and which includes uh, students from different uh, disciplines also i told you that invention can occur from any field okay and um, keeping in view that needs of uh, different disciplines uh, well crafted i think um, this intellectual property courses uh, uh, required to be devised out of which uh, some of them are like more relevant uh, than others for the professionals like generally you know like this ip means only the law professions only there it is not like that so law business or even for the, our academic uh, uh, programs like engineering and other uh, uh science streams and other even in the art stream also they are having lot of importance okay so even in science courses you know like some knowledge of uh, mm, this intellectual property will help in creating the scientific temper for innovation and innovative activities and uh, how to reap the benefits of uh, uh, own uh, one's own uh, creation among the students okay so that is very important right and um, even the importance of intellectual property like in the present knowledge and the technology era uh, intellectual property plays a important role um, for the driver of economic growth and also the value of intellectual property lies uh, in its commercialization uh, that we have already discussed uh, once if you are not commercialized um, your uh, ip so there is no value for that uh, intellectual property rights whatever you have earned okay so that thing so so these are the things like in the you can protect your ip through this like a copyright patent patent only for the technological uh, innovation or technological advancement we can go for uh, this patent and the composition of the drug or this kind of things then you can um, the composition of uh, this things like any secret uh, compositions uh, you can go for a trade secret and integrated circuits and trademark design geographical indication so these are the forms like you can uh, protect your intellectual property rights and other types of ip are also is there that is a trade secrets uh, geographical indications uh, traditional knowledge okay and uh, plant varieties okay right 
an intellectual property right that is patent okay so you can see here this is a, a small cooker uh, here uh, all kind of ip uh, forms it is there okay so for the construction features the te technological innovations okay for that the patent right they are giving and for this exterior design they are giving design registration we can uh, register as a design and the trademark the name and the logo it will go for a trademark and in the booklet will be there the new cooker no when we are opening it inside a booklet will be there for that you can go for a copyright also right so the patent uh, it is an exclusive monopoly rights granted to the inventor so as a whole we can say that uh, if you have the novel ideas like the criteria the criteria for grant i told you uh, for patent the three criteria that is a one is novelty another one is inventive step and the industrial applicability if you are satisfied all these things then you can uh, prepare a technological document then you can approach the patent office the patent office will assign the exclusive right for you for a 20 years with an agreement and that 20 years you can use your um, monopoly rights and you can generate revenues okay so this is in a nutshell that what is uh, that patent how it works okay and also the patent um, is an exclusive monopoly rights granted to the applicant right and the grant of patent does not mean that uh, the patent can manufacture and sell all kind of uh, invention either himself or uh, through authorized person okay and for manufacturing and selling the invention uh, the patentee or inventor has to uh, complete the formalities laid down by the law in force um, but he can definitely stop others from the manufacturing and selling the patenting invention that's what i told that is uh, the infringement okay so for that also, if you file the case, suit the case, you will get a lot of damages, right? Okay. The patent we have seen, the next one is the trademark. That's a brand name I already told you. Okay. So here, the trademark, like even in the patent also, there are two types of patents. Okay. So there are two types of patent. That is a product patent and the process patent. So product patent is like in the mechanical items and the synergistic compositions that will go for a uh, product patent and the process patent is the, the processes uh, relating to the food, uh, drug, or medicinal items. Okay, so that is um, two kind of uh, patents. The branding that is a trademark. Uh, trademark is uh, it is a science, isn't it? Like uh, we can easily recognize the. So I think you can see that uh, what is that? Uh, like uh, Tata and Fenner, Bajaj, Cadbury, Nike all this okay so it is a science that are capable of uh, uh, distinguishing uh, the goods or services of one enterprises from others of uh, those of others okay and the trademarks are, uh, are indispensable uh, tools in today's uh, business uh, world and they help companies expand their uh, market share and uh, help uh, consumers identify the products they want to buy in a crowded uh, uh, marketplaces also so people they need uh, a quality one okay so the branded one so for that the branding name is come and the trademark they are giving for only for a, a superior product okay so that is why the consumers of the people also they are going for with the trademark okay so trademark not a mere uh, um, letters or a logo okay it is also connected with some quality okay and uh, yeah so even the companies, uh, even companies, they are changing their logos so far and the trade, they are registering the trademark and time to time, they are also changing. Now, now you can see this Canada Bank and this Apple also, Apple phones know like uh, this is their logo, how it is, uh, they are evolving, like changed. Okay, then Starbucks coffees, the Coca-Cola, you see like how in 1886, how it was. And now you can see like, uh, this is the latest one. And Pepsi also, their logo trademark, they have changed. Even in the India Post, they changed their uh, trademark. Uh, they registered and they have changed their trademark. So like they are India, they are also changed. And you see the Ford, the cars, you know, like uh, motors, the Ford motors. Now how it is, how it was 1903 and uh, the 2003 onwards, how it is Ford, right? Okay. So do the trademark have meaning? Definitely, yes. So you know that Amazon.com, that yellow arrow is not a just a smiley. It also suggests that you can buy everything A to Z, right? And the families, and it is a Reader's Digest magazine. 
the letter ili are transformed to show a, a simplified and a stylist family of a three okay and this one and after that the cervix marks also is there right so the term cervix um, mark means any word to identify and it distinguish the services of one person including a unique uh, service uh, from the service of others okay it's so like uh, the vibro and infosys they are, they are the software service providers okay and ircitc you know okay so these they have registered as a service marks also right so what is the criteria like a patent i told you the criteria novelty inventive step and the commercial okay the commercial applicability and here in the trademark the criteria for trademark is the non descriptive and the non generic and the not identical also so you know i think uh, you will understand what is that non descriptive non generic and not identical the word and the forms of trademark may be a word mark like in the fanner i told you i showed you that f symbol that is fanner and logo for packaging of goods trade and the address they are giving and certification of mark also will mark and the sound mark the roar of mgm line i think you might have seen in the television and smell mark the smell of fresh cut grass used over a tennis ball is registered trademark in europe and uh, shape of goods also the bottles you know like a coca cola miranda so they are having a, a special type of uh, the design so for that they are getting a this is a trademark okay coca cola the letters also they have registered trademark right and what is the benefit of trademark registration the nation wide protection from the date of application and also it exclude others from using the mark of or it varieties stuff infringing goods and enhanced damages also and get to use of a symbol this registered symbol right so that is and another one is industrial design i told you uh, we can protect the exterior designs okay ornamental designs we can go for uh, this uh, uh, registration okay the ornamental or aesthetic aspect on an article and but not the functional aspect once so if you are going for a functional aspect you can go for a patent okay so that you so the exterior design we can go for protect the shape and form of the product we can uh, uh, register as a design also and uh, the companies uh, many companies they invest a great deal of uh, time and uh, money in coming up with a uh, new and attractive uh, designs that uh, seduce uh, the consumers uh, mm -hmm. to buy in their products okay and uh, design also is now widely uh, recognized as a key uh, Uh, determinant of uh, this uh, commercial success that you know very well, right? And the types of designs; these are the two-dimensional and three-dimensional designs they are registering. And what can be registered as a design and the new or original, not previously published, and significantly distinguishable from known designs or combination of uh, known designs, and not comprised of or containing scandalous or skin matter. Okay, and this is the criteria. and uh, next one is the copyright isn't it like um, the copyright you might have seen the symbol the copyright is an uh, exclusive right uh, given to the creators of original works uh, such as uh, literary or artistic works to prevent the unauthorized copying or reproducing their work by others okay in other words we can say the copyright means to right to copy or uh, reproduce the original work in which the copyright uh, subsist okay and uh, the copyright uh, subsist in the work as soon as it is completed by the author and it remains in force up to 60 years okay even after the demise of the author also okay so that is and uh, copyright it is good uh, given to the originator for a fixed number of years uh, to print and uh, publish and perform a film or record literary artistic or musical materials and it is we can say that it's a original work and uh, the expression of thoughts okay not uh, ideas okay so the expression of thoughts that we can give uh, maybe the thoughts may be a uh, different uh, like individual to individual so each individual can express it in different way for that the copyright is possible okay but it uh, like in the copyright like uh, the not for the ideas okay but for the thoughts we can give a different uh, thoughts we can give for a different uh, kind of uh, material so for that we can give this copyrights okay and what can be protected uh, the literary including the software also the software comes under this copyright and the books essay and the compilations and the computer programs 
or everything will come under this literary these are the six forms of this uh, copyright okay and the dramatic the screenplay and the drama that we can uh, uh, go for copyright and the sound recording the compact disc and the cd so for that we can have a copyright and artistic drawing painting logo so photographs so all this and musical you know that in the notes the musical notations okay uh, for that we can get, have a uh, copyright and the cinematograph films visual recording which includes the sound recording for that also so these are the uh, the copyright these things and the non copyright items are like um, copyright does not protect the facts uh, the ideas and the systems and the method of operations okay so these are the non copyrightable and who is the first owner uh, for this um, uh, copyright okay under uh, section uh, 17 uh, the copyright protects the right of the author okay so that means it is a creator of the work right and uh, the work you can see here like uh, the literary means it is the creator of work, that is author dramatic is author and musical the composer he will get a copyright okay and uh, cinematograph the producers they will get and the sound recording producers and uh, the photograph the and the photograph the photographer will get the copyright okay so they are the ownership of that uh, copyright right so what are the rights like uh, in the copyright no like there are two kinds like academic right and a uh, moral rights also okay so more than just the right to copy uh, so we should um, understand that there are two things involved that is a economic right and the moral rights so for both uh, we will get uh, this um, um, copyright the economic right to, to drive a financial reward from the use of his work suppose if we are writing the book and we are giving to the publishers they will give the royalty and we will get a royalty okay so that economic right also is there and the moral right also the author is having a moral rights okay to preserve the personal link between himself and the work so without your permission they cannot do anything suppose they are adding something and that book is having a bad uh, this remarks with the other readers then your name also is involved in that your name name is getting damaged okay so for that you have a moral rights you can file a case against that publisher also okay so that is in copyright there are two things economic rights and as well as the moral rights is there okay so i think we know that uh, the story of this battle for a royalty isn't it so i perform the i make money the when the singers they will say and the composer no i own the copyright so pay me the royalty i think in the best example i think recently happened with the and uh, the musicians like ilai raja as well as the uh, singer spb paul spromi okay so finally they agreed uh, and uh, they paid some money or they agreed otherwise okay so whatever they the composer is saying that uh, the singer agreed to pay something without or otherwise without his permission he cannot perform so that is the thing so everything the copyright is having the composer so with the consent of the composer the singer can perform in different places he can perform okay so that is the thing the copyright will with the composer only right and these are the logos like a copyright and a registered trademark you might have seen in some uh, the materials you know like the boxes so they might have write r and round and that means already registered if you are writing tm it is an unregistered trademark and sm is the service mark already we have seen okay so this is the uh, trade secret the best kept secret uh, till date is that and the coca cola okay so only the two companies uh, uh, the ceos so they only knows so it can be used to protect the no hope of a business okay so essentially uh, the laws relating to uh, trade secret means that uh, people uh, may have legal uh, duty to keep certain uh, information confidential okay so between the two companies ceos so that is that trade secret and how to got that trade secret restricting number of people having access to the information the secret information and signing confidentiality agreements with the business partners uh, and employees and using protective techniques like uh, digital data security tools and restricting uh, entry into area where the trade secret is work okay and uh, national legislations uh, provide a protection in the form of injunction and damages if secret information is illegally acquired or used 
and another one is the geographical indication uh, okay so this is that indian uh, logo for gi and uh, you know very well that what is gi and um, geographical indication uh, in relation to like in the goods uh, it is a sign or tag uh, identifying the product originating in a, a particular territory okay and where the where a given quality reputation and other characteristics of the product also is essentially attributable to that uh, geographical origin okay so the production or uh, the processing of uh, the preparation of goods concerned uh, uh, taking place in such a territory a unique places okay so maybe a region or locality as the case may be okay so there uh, it is a unique characters and a unique product for they are getting ga and uh, ga can be owned by the a community or association of producers so not as an individual just not like that uh, not like in patent the inventors the individual they will get a, a patent but here the ga will be registered through this the community or the association the group of people they can do right and you can see here this is the toda people in nilgiris so for this embroidery work of their and the shawls you no know, like uh, for that they got a um, uh, the ga okay so it indicates which identifies their good as originating in the territory of the member or a region or locality in that territory where a given quality reputation or other characteristic of the good is essentially attributable to its uh, geographical origin so there are many uh, um, this uh, ga uh, products are available in tamil nadu i think you know uh, recently they have uh, registered uh, this uh, a uh, kovil patti uh, kadala mitai and uh, uh, this uh, kodaikanal malai pond that i will show you and uh, why the ga has to be protected it uh, denote uh, quality and origin of products and also good reputation and it prevent the goods from becoming a generic one and uh, protecting the domestic market from the competitors right and benefits so what are the benefits once if you are doing this uh, uh, geographical uh, indicate uh, that registration legal protection you will get local producers and farmers get benefited rural development uh, you can enhance the rural development through uh, this uh, gi and reduces unfair trade practices also and uh, you can preserve the local culture and resources this is very very important and provides complete information to the consumers right the process of registration is there and uh, according to this uh, ga registration act uh, 1919 came in force with the effect from uh, this september 2003 the producers dealing with the following three categories goods can apply like agricultural goods maybe like manufactured goods and handicrafts okay and who can apply i, I already told that uh, group of association or people they can apply and how to apply application must be submitted to the ga registry in chennai patent office and you have to submit all the required forms okay and the term for this protection the for ga they are giving only 10 years uh, and it is unlimited period but the renewal after every 10 years also and the ga cannot be used for mortgages or licenses etc because unlike a patent patent you can once if your patent is granted you can go for mortgages and licenses also so these are the india's are famous ga products banaras silks pashmina shawls bengal cotton basmati rice this hyderabad pearls nilgiri tea and all right and this also like in tamil nadu you can see madurai mallai uh, sirumalai hill banana and the nilgiri tea and kwaimtur wet grinders okay so all these things and uh, tanjavur bean 2010 they got registered this gi and this is that uh, certificate of this uh, registration okay and the tamil nadu state council for science and technology they are helping to get this kind of uh, ga registration and recently this kodaikanal malaipund they have got a ga registration okay with the help of uh, this uh, department of biotechnology mother the university in kodaikanal okay so for that they have uh, uh, submitted all the required documents and the supportive documents uh, even uh, old literatures they have collected that this garlic uh, this uh, kodaikanal garlic is having a lot of therapeutic value and uh, the cultivation practices everything is unique so they have submitted all the documents like after harvesting that garlic how to store it okay in the post harvest technology process everything they have and even the cultivation uh, technology also 
like in the hill cultivations the garlic cultivation how they are doing the terrace farming everything they have supported and finally and the pay, uh, ga registration has given to the uh, the kodaikanal malai pond and after that one study was there that in the and the journal like in the garlic trading a potential agri business ventures in india it was uh, published in the journal of horticulture so here you can see that the grading and the pricing of garlic in vadugapatti uh, wholesale market so here they have graded as a number one this kodaikanal malai pond okay it is a price range of uh, almost 170 to 220 kilo uh, uh, rupees per kg compared to other uh, garlics okay so the ga uh, they are given because of that unique uh, characters and the um, uh, quality of that particular product right okay and uh, now uh, what can be patented the now question will come what can be patented anything that qualifies as an invention can be patented a new product or um, a new equipment or new ma manufacture a new process with a technological advancement so everything we can get a patent and uh, should have novelty and must non obviousness and must be useful one and should be a practicable so if you are satisfying all these criteria then your things will be get patented and what cannot be patented if anything against law of nature or physical phenomena anything frivolous or contrary to natural laws against law and mortality and negative thinking uh, treating diseases medical uh, mm, uh, surgical uh, these things like uh, the methods uh, so all these things cannot be patented but uh, the medical and surgical instruments that can be patented okay and anything like in the duplication or rearrangement combinations without a new information that cannot be patented and uh, the non patentable the method of agriculture or horticulture so these are the things that it cannot be patented and however agricultural equipments are patentable one and the non patentable the plants and animals in the whole cannot be patented parts of plants and animals cannot be patented seeds and varieties and species plant species or animal species that cannot be patented and uh, the essentially biological process for propagation or production of the animal and plants cannot be patented okay and the traditional knowledge also not patentable also okay so whatever the traditional knowledge uh, the people they are having in their place so that we cannot um, exploit as a patent but it is a um, big issue and we have to submit uh, so many things and the agreement everything to the nba national biodiversity authority then uh, if you are doing any scientific validation on that then it is possible and that is a bio piracy i think uh, this things are uh, for your department i think it is not uh, needed but the general things by piracy you should know that whatever the indigenous people they are practicing this knowledge that uh, without their consent we cannot go for a patent that we'll call it as a uh, without their consent we cannot exploit that uh, material okay commercially so that we'll call it as a by piracy so in india there are many cases happened with the turmeric and uh, the other people other country people they are us people they have got patent so then our uh, csar council of scientific and industrial research they fought with this one and they filed the case and finally the patent was revoked the neem also the europe uh, patent office they have granted patent and finally indian government filed the case and the patent was revoked okay okay and um, these are the things happened with uh, this um, uh, access benefit sharing mechanism and all and uh, in ipr this uh, plant variety and the farmers uh, um, rights plant variety and farmers right and the ppr um, we can protect our new plant varieties and the hybrid seeds and all comes under this um, and the plant variety and the farmers act so this is separate uh, from that like uh, indian council of agriculture research they are taking care of these things and here you can protect your plant varieties and the protect rights of farmers and the plant breeders also um under this uh, um act this uh, farmers act plant variety and uh, protection of farmers rights act that we will call it as P pvpfr okay so that is a plant variety protection and farmers uh, rights act okay so uh, uh, under this act the breeders you know those who are doing the breeding work will have the rights to protect the new variety of uh, plant or crop or seed either in a person or through any one uh, be designates okay 
so uh, the rights under this act include the right to produce a sell a market or uh, directly to export a variety okay and this one and these are the objective of that um, plant variety protection under farmers uh, rights act okay and whatever the biological material we are collecting it from that any nature so we should get a permission from this national biodiversity authority of india that the head office is located in chennai right so these are the forms required for that the guidelines for filling that the biological material if anything is collected we have to submit it then and uh, now we'll come to that uh, this what are the consequences if you are not protecting your ip so what are the consequences that you can see that somebody might patent if you are not patenting somebody will might patent and the competitors will take advantage competitors will take ready made technology without spending much resources you might have spent a lot of time as well as a lot of money but everything it will go waste once if, if you are protecting it properly okay and will not be able to license it also so if you are not patent you cannot license it okay so other people they will do and uh, they will get a license also and will not be able to generate revenues so revenue will come when you are protecting then you will get a patent then you can transfer to the technology to many uh, industry or many uh, enterprises then thereby you can generate your revenues and finally it will not be able to obtain return on investment also that is very very important okay and um, and uh, yeah these are the consequences and we have already seen that why we have to do like in the reason for patenting and all okay uh, so the, you will get a exclusive right and uh, the, you will be there like uh, acting as a dominant uh, market position also and a better uh, return on investment uh, then the increase in the negotiating power also when you are having the uh, protected ip okay and um, you will have the positive image uh, for your enterprises or your uh, institutions everything okay so that is the thing so this all about uh, the introductory part of this ip and when you want to start this uh, ip cell uh, in your uh, college or universities so how to start like you can see here first of all we should uh, training the faculty and the student uh, student okay it is an ongoing process okay always we have to create a awareness everything to them and ip rd should be there to find out uh, the innovations in your uh, institute so for that you can organize a uh, a mela or organize a, a program so there you can invite all, all the innovative ideas from the faculty and the students then you can just uh, document all the innovations okay document all the innovations then after that you can analyze them if some of them are good to be uh, filed as a patent or copyright or a design okay so and also you should have some uh, uh, stringent ip policy and set ip process also so for each uh, your institute should have some ip policy okay then what will happen once if you have started this ip uh, cell what will happen uh, to this institute the academic institutions so definitely the quality of uh, research will improve right and uh, the branding of the institute also that i have already told that the image uh, the buildings in the image building of your institution will increase okay and the students are industry ready so placement will definitely will be better okay so once if you are practicing this ip cells right and you should know that how much amount we have to pay for the filing a patent and other things so so almost if you are going through individual then you have to pay around 900 9900 rupees and through organization if you are going almost 45000 44500 rupees you have to pay so once if you are working in a college or universities you have to file through your college or university name okay so that is applicant name will come your college name or university name so in that case you you have to take the second option okay so for that so for that there are many forms uh, is there and the required forms is form number 1 and 18 and 9 while the while filing the patents we have to file the applications right okay so these are the terms of uh, different ips like uh, they are giving uh, the monopoly rights the patent means 20 years they are giving after that it will come to the public and the trademark 10 years they are giving and maybe renewed for an unlimited period for that you have to pay the renewal fee design 15 years they are giving geographical indication 10 years copyright 
60 years plus author's life and the integrated circuits are 10 years they are giving. Okay, so this is the overall uh, filing process. First, you have to file the uh, patent, then 18 months you have to wait the publication, they will publish it. Okay, then after that, you have to file the request for examination. Okay, then they will send a report. Okay, and uh, within that uh, six months, you have to submit the response. After that, the further examination will come, the hearing. Uh, so the patent will be granted. In hearing, also like 50% uh, chances are there. Like it, if it is uh, okay, then it will be granted or it will be refused. Then you can, uh, again, you can go for appeal. Then if you are satisfying all the things, the patent will be granted or again, it will be refused. Okay. So these are the process. So two to three years, definitely you will get a patent granted. Only when we are filing the patent, so the time taken is only within that two to three years, you, your patent will be granted. Okay. So this is the overall uh, the filing procedures. If you are going to deep, then it will take another uh, two hours lecture. Okay. Okay, this is that I'm showing the patent certificate and uh, that patent I granted to our uh, team. Uh, when I was in the DRDO, the patent has uh, uh, issued. And another one is uh, from our university, Bardia University. Uh, in uh, 2019, the patent was issued for this uh, dietary supplement and method of manufacturing the dietary supplement from seed embryo of uh, Palmyra, that is uh, Panamaram. Okay, so in the uh, that uh, we have uh, done some nutraceutical development from the seed embryo. So that got a uh, granted, the patent was granted for that uh, invention. Okay, right. And what is the like um, academic institute's responsibility towards the inventor? Um, university or any academic institution is the biggest uh, uh, resource of knowledge and forms of the platform for uh, intellectual development. So. Uh, we have to facilitate the transfer of technology and to provide a freedom of uh, operation to the inventors, to facilitate uh, monetary support to the inventors also. Um, so we have to initiate uh, like uh, the IP cell and conduct uh, regular audits in our institutes. So thereby we can increase this, uh, uh, this kind of innovative and the creativity of things. And uh, without understanding the value of knowledge, one cannot meet that. Um, public private participation and successfully okay and uh, uh, even uh, i told you already i think the importance of the intellectual property uh, in the modern world goes for uh, beyond the protection of the creation uh, of the mind also okay so ip uh, is a powerful uh, tool of economic growth okay so stimulating the creativity and the innovations and all. Um, and uh, the ip protection uh, when we are talking about this IP protection uh, prevents competitors uh, uh, from imitating uh, the products or services. So that is why we have to, whenever we have the idea or any new uh, inventions, immediately we have to go for uh, filing the patent and uh, protecting the patents and other IP forms also, right? And um, yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, with this, I will just uh, complete my lecture. And also the teaching and uh, uh, training in intellectual property rights uh, are not issues of uh, uh, law faculty alone. I told you already, okay. It's even, uh, they should span across all the subjects, engineering, technology, applied science, uh, economies and uh, management, social sciences, and even literature also, okay. So the copyright is, uh, is involved with this literature, okay. So after all, uh, intellectual property is found in all branches of uh, human uh, endeavor. And um, universities and colleges are the academic uh, communities, uh, uh, organic link with uh, this uh, society, okay? And uh, the promoting IP education in colleges and universities is uh, uh, crucial to promoting intellectual property in society, right? Uh, the future, definitely clearly belongs to innovative societies okay so we all as a teachers uh, shape a destiny of uh, nations in our classrooms uh, teaching of intellectual property will be a new tool in uh, in your hands okay to contribute uh, to our civilization's onward journey okay so with this i'll stop and uh, if you have any uh, clarifications uh, you can anybody can ask 
they can collect their questions and they can ask me so thank you so much for patient listening for uh, more than an hour i think so thank you sir thank you sir the way you explained the term intellectual property was easily understood sir the importance of getting patent for the innovations importance of intellectual property that you explained was useful sir the fact that the pub rubik cube and the shoe used by the michael jackson had patent for was interesting sir finally we gathered a lot of knowledge on ip from you thank you sir for the valuable session now it's time for question and answer session now the participant can post their queries in the chat box any questions sir i have one question sir oh, sir you said the uh, trademark symbol has changed to so many popular companies like uh, apple and starbucks sir is there any uh, terms to stay back with the trademark symbol sir do we want to change that frequently no if you want you can change That's otherwise you don't want to stay, uh, change that But why they are changing it? I sh I showed you like uh, the Apple and uh, the Coca Cola symbol and all. No, like people they, even if it is the first in 1900 they are started this Apple mark. Now people will not like it. The customer satisfaction, customers liking. No, that is very important. So that is why they are changing this trademark as and when it's required. But it is not mandatory. okay uh, no problem because you are nearby only e road uh, you if you want any help uh, to file the patent or copyright or trademark whatever the doubts if you have so easily you can approach me uh, to bardia university i'm always available here or otherwise also you can send a message or you can send a email and we will readily we will help you and uh, to file in the filing procedures okay so if anybody is uh, ready with uh, the copyright and other uh, ip farms uh, so they can approach me i'll help you i think we can uh, conclude no the... more questions uh, in youtube sir okay. uh, sir one more question sir uh, is there any holding period for that pat patent sir You said twenty years is a holding period. Yeah. Is there any other uh, periods for holding the patent, sir? Only for twenty no, years. No, no, no. Only twenty years. Only twenty. So after that twenty years. After that, we have to renew. Yeah, only twenty years only. After twenty years, it will come to the public. Any. Okay. Yeah, anybody can do that one. It's really a nice session, sir. We have covered almost from starting IP. You have covered all the. aspects it's this really introduction yeah introductory part only yeah from introductory to filing including fees it is wonderful sir uh, yeah. given a full fledged information copyright Thank you so uh, much copyright itself it will take another uh, one uh, session so on trademark like that we can go but this is a overall view i have given to um thank you sir so we are in the end note of ajanta and i am in the pleasant task of expressing my gratitude Uh, first, I would like to thank to the management and correspondent Rikhe Parani Sami sir for giving us concern uh, to conduct the program. Thank you, sir. I would extend my sincere gratitude to our expected principal, Dr. N. Raman sir, for his consistent support to organize the department activities like this. Thank you, sir. If a man is keeping an idea to himself and that idea is taken by stealth or trickery, it is stealing. But once a man has revealed his idea to others, it has no longer his alone. It belongs to the world. so now we are in the situation to learn more sometimes the learning becomes innovation and the innovation need patent or copyright i think this is a right time for us to learn ipr so i want to give my big thanks to dr t parimeer arigan sir professor of botany department and director of ipr sir 
Badia University, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and spending your valuable time with us. And uh, extend my gratitude to our head, Dr. KK Aragopan sir. Without his support, nothing is possible. A man who is always the clear attitude to guide us in all the activities. Thank you, sir. At last, I want to end my thanks to my beloved uh, faculty friends. We learn, we teach, we grow, we united here to the success of this function. Thank you to all. Uh, further, I, I would like to extend my thanks to our students for their participation. Uh, last but not least, I want to thank to our technical partner, uh, Dr. Shankar, sir, Assistant Professor of uh, Physical Education Department. Thank you, sir, and thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you Thank is you, one sir. of the simplest and yet most powerful things human can do for each other. Thank you all for your presence. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you